This is also breaking this noon. A man who was once beaten by his fellow officers is now Boston's top cop. Michael Cox sworn in as Boston's newest police commissioner this morning. Commissioner Cox vowed to reimagine policing as he returns to the city where he grew up and the police force where he served for decades. Surrounded by family and friends, Cox spoke repeatedly about the need to connect with communities and find out how they view policing. He also directly addressed the 1995 incident where while with the gang unit, he was brutally beaten by fellow officers who were pursuing a murder suspect. A cover up followed, which came to embody the idea of police protecting their own at all costs. Today, he vowed to use that experience to make policing better. Since I was announced to be the 44th Boston Police Commissioner, there's been a great deal of talk about the incident that happened to me 27 years ago. And while this incident is absolutely informs like who I am, it doesn't define me. I've worked to change policing since that incident occurred, and I will continue to do all I can to do it, to make sure that no black or brown person or any individual, no matter what their gender, gender identity or race, is the victim of any, any kind of unconstitutional policing. Cox is now the 44th police commissioner in Boston's history. After his career in Boston, he went on to become police chief in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Five Investigates' Karen Anderson reported extensively about the challenges he faced while he was there, and she was at today's ceremony. She will have reports tonight starting at 4 p.m.